How many numbers from 1 to n are complete strangers to n, sharing no common factors at all? Formally, we want to count the integers between 1 and n, whose greatest common divisor with n is 1. So those are the numbers that are co-prime to n, right? Exactly. That count is a famous function called Euler's totient, which we say as phi of n. Our mission is to express phi of n using only the primes that appear in the factorization of n. Wait, just from the primes of n, you can tell how many numbers are co-prime to it? Yes, because the only way a number fails to be co-prime to n is if it shares one of those prime factors that divide n. Start simple. If n is a prime p, then every number from 1 up to p minus 1 is co-prime to it, so phi of p is just p minus 1. Next, take a prime power n equals p to the a. The only bad guys are the multiples of p. How many multiples of p are there up to p to the a? They look like p times 1, p times 2, all the way up to p times p to the a minus 1. So there are p to the a minus 1 of them. So phi of p to the a is total numbers p to the a minus those p to the a minus 1 multiples, which factors as p to the a times 1 minus 1 over p. Nice. That already looks like a product with a 1 minus 1 over p factor. Now, the key fact, phi is multiplicative. If m and n share no common factors, then the number of coprime residues modulo m times n is the product of phi of m times phi of n. Put it together. Factor n is a product of distinct prime powers. Phi of n is the product of the phi of each prime power, which pulls out an overall factor of n and 1 minus 1 over each prime. So you start with n numbers. Then for every prime that divides n, you keep only a 1 minus 1 over p fraction of what's left. Let's see the product formula in action with n equals 12, which is 2 squared times 3. Draw 12 boxes for the numbers 1 through 12. First gray out every multiple of 2. You just removed one half of all boxes. So that's the 1 minus 1 over 2 factor kicking in? Exactly. Now, from what remains gray out every multiple of 3. That removes one third of the remaining numbers. Only four boxes are left. 1, 5, 7, and 11. Each of them is co-prime to 12. And the formula agrees. Start with 12, then multiply by one half, then by two thirds, and you land at four. So phi of n really is n times the product of 1 minus 1 over p for every prime dividing n. And here's the wild part. Euler's totient shows up everywhere in modern cryptography. Follow to see how this ancient idea protects your messages today. Please like, share, and subscribe.